Without the Oracle, we cannot continue the journey. Kirsten's Agenda is the name of my show. It's a way to make art and learn stuff and grow. There will be lots of segments and maybe some guests. Ten minutes of deep breath, that is my quest. If while we're here, then our insights expand to be more compassionate to our fellow man and woman and person and remember the truth is that kindness is cool have sex with my feelings and fuck being cruel because our power it lies in our minds and our hearts opening up is a really good place to start here's the <laughs> Okay, this episode, we did an episode a few back um, with Celeste Pewter about voting rights. Yeah, why are you doing one about voting again? This episode is about actually going out and voting. We're about 100 days away, a little less than 100 days away from the day that we go and vote. Maybe you're not a person who says like, oh God, I want to be Kirsten's friend or I want to be like Kirsten. Maybe you're not that person. Maybe you're like, I'm watching this so I can try to actively not be like Kirsten. I want to actively not be like Kirsten. If you want to be like me, there are certain things that I feel very enthusiastic about that you might not be as excited as I am. I encourage you to get as excited as I am about it. And if you are not of age yet to, to even do it, let's say you're under 18, inspire the people around you who are of age to do it. I do believe that it's one of the things that makes our life happier. If you're someone who has a couple of day jobs or one very hard day job, or you can't get a job or you're, you know, all of those things, those things can be very distracting and tap out a lot of energy and make it nearly impossible to do something like voting. I'm telling you, it actually improves your life to participate in community. It, 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 there's just some kind of cool alchemy that happens with it. So I want you to have a big, juicy, expansive life. I want, that brings me pleasure. Knowing that other people are having big, expansive, juicy lives like I am. And so I maintain that the activity of voting is one of those things. You might not feel it in the moment. You might be like, it's not a big deal, Kirsten. I did it. I was like a pain. It was like I was hot or too cold and I was worried I was going to catch a thing. If you live in a place where you can't, like where you can't do a mail-in ballot, it's a pain. I don't. I, I got to get postage, like all these different things. Like I get it. It's weird how those little tiny things can be very complicated to do. I get it. Participating in democracy. I know it doesn't sound like it's that exciting, but trust me, trust me. And it, and it bleeds into everything else. Like it's like practice in like doing a bunch of other stuff that's brave. So I'm just like encouraging you to like get in the, get in the sexy water. Like, and I'm not talking about like the way it looks outside. I'm talking about the way it feels inside of your body. Um, I want it to feel really good inside of your body. I would like to introduce you to Gina Garcia Sharp. You're gonna meet her in a second. That, that's James and Finney, they're not in this. This is Gina Garcia Sharp. This is Kirsten Vangsness. Uh, we've known each other a while. She is my guest today and she is the host of Politics or Smart Dum Dums Like Me. Gerrymandering is like boop, beep, 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 beep. Look at District 3. Oh, wait, here's some of the district. Wait, there's more District 3 over way over there. Mm -mm. To stop the gerrymandering, mandering, mandering. Enjoy her wonder. You started a thing called Politics for Smart Dum Dums Like Me. And uh, you can find it on the YouTubes where we are right now. And uh, and it it is a non-partisan which is, I think is really Im important and lovely and, and tricky to do. It, it just presents the facts about how government 
runs. So I wanted to talk to you about voting and why you, what you know about it, because you tend to know a lot of things about these things and what you know about voting and what, what it can do besides just, we don't just go, do we just go in and go, I'm voting for a president. And is that it? That's such a good question. I love that. And yes, please, you know, vote for um, a president, do your research and vote for the president. I would say <laughs> local elections can impact our lives in a more direct way than we realize, right? So those down ballot races, your governor, your mayor, your superintendent, that's affecting things like um, school quality, um, even your recycling program, uh, you know, where funding is being diverted for um, homelessness issues, um, for policing, all that kind of stuff. Um, how? How do I do research on a local election? Uh, vote. I mean, one of the easiest things is just vote.org. And then it's just a link to link to link, um, you know, your Secretary of State's website. You, you can go to vote.org and put in like your zip code. Yeah, exactly. And just, exactly. Yeah. And it's going to bring you up all, all your local elections and, and, and local ballot measures in terms of like governors and mayors. They've played like an essential role in um, keeping um, our communities safe from, you know, the COVID pandemic. So that's another example of local elections and how they direct directly affect you and impact they you, They were right? directly responsible, right? Because people that are secretary of states, people that are governors, people that are mayors, those are the ones that are saying, you don't have to wear masks. And then the numbers went up, 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 up. And then right. there were people who said, we're locking it down. And the numbers right. went down, down, down. Doesn't the president pick our Supreme Court people? Right. So when um, a Supreme Court justice retires or passes away, then the president gets to nominate the person for that position. And then the Senate confirms after vetting uh, the candidate, the Senate confirms who that Supreme Court justice is gonna be in their tenure, again, is for life or until they choose to retire. So very right. significant, yeah. Right. And that's a big deal. You want a very thoughtful, like, look at that. Not just somebody who looks at who's going to help with my personal agenda, but you want someone that's going to help the American family. There used to be this thing about like, oh, you want to sit down and drink a beer with the person. Like, yeah, that's cool. Like, it's cool when people are down with your, but also there's stuff I need you to know so I don't have to know it. The reason why we all had to learn so much about government is it started to feel like everybody who was running government didn't know about government. And somebody said something I, that I responded to. They said, you know, Best case scenario, you are in agreement or alignment with 80% of the policies of the candidate. That's amazing. Yeah. There's, there's never going to be a perfect candidate and there's never that perfectly aligns with what you think and feel or know in the moment. But if they are 80% there, that's amazing. So I wrote a song about voting. This, I'm singing it to you. Okay. So. Adam, can you put a blank, can you put hey and then blank underneath it? Hey, that's your name right there. Okay, so hey, Jennifer. Hey, Aloysius. You, I sing this to you. Here we go. This is your vote theme song and you can't do it wrong. It is important to make a choice and it really counts to use our voices. In order to count, you must participate in the process of voting. You're your own advocate. See a person who votes strengthens their good traits that ultimately helps them to personally feel great. And the person you choose, you don't have to love through and through, but it's important to pick Yes, it's true, and not live life by default. Tell that cynicism and apathy to halt, and this is your theme song. This is your vote theme song, and you can't do it wrong. Wait. That was supposed to go with that, but it doesn't, does it? 